up guys it's gen exec here and in this video i'm going to show you how you can bypass the the google verification lock on your samsung galaxy without a computer without uh, any any of that stuff so i already know the password but as you can see but i also know the pin but i'm going to go ahead and reset this thing and I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can bypass this thing. So I'm going to head into recovery and then I'll go ahead and show you then. So now I got the phone turning on. Sorry it looks so blurry there. Well period. It actually doesn't look all that good but I'm currently working with this uh, light I got because I'm not where I'm uh, I'm not at home right now so uh, yeah so w what you're gonna need is you're gonna need either access to your your router or you're going to need a Wi-Fi hotspot I got hotspot already on here so I'm good well, as long as you have access to your Wi-Fi or you have a hotspot like I do over here, then you're good to go. But it seems like the phone's turning on now, so I'm gonna wait for this. And bam. So, phone is on. So what you're gonna do is, first you're gonna hit start. This especially works for T-Mobile too. So, uh, go ahead and sign into your Wi-Fi. This is where you turn on your hotspot. And now the hotspot, the hotspot should be on in a second, so I should be able to go ahead and enter my info. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it likes to do that sometimes. It likes to turn off the Wi-Fi, but I'm going to go ahead and sign into this. All right, got it. So now this is the kind of part where you really need your your Wi-Fi on you so uh, go ahead and keep your phone right next to you keep your hand right where the on button is and I don't know why the Wi-Fi keeps turning off but anyways hit next hit next agree and as soon as you see software update uncheck that uh, turn off the internet oh, hit it okay good we got to this so this is where you're going to turn your wi-fi right back on so turn your data hotspot or whatever you have right back on yeah so uh hit next after you see that or wait up here until you see a wi-fi connection you don't need to wait for it but i'm gonna go ahead and continue on okay connected so hit next and Hit next again. I'll actually set your time just in case it wants to uh, not set because you're not in the right time. Hit next. Hit not now. Next. Uh, no thanks. Skip. Skip anyway. And then scroll down and go to privacy policy. We get this browser type thing here. So that's cool. Alright, so go ahead and scroll down. Select some text. Hit share. Hold on to Samsung Setup Wizard, and then what you're gonna do here is it might might not show for your phone, but go to Data Usage, and if it doesn't show, leave a comment below. But hit Upgrade Data Service, and then hit Chrome. I was gonna say choose Chrome, but hit Chrome. Hit OK. Hit Accept and Continue. Make sure you don't hit Add an Account. Hit No Thanks. And from here, what you're gonna Google is. You're gonna look up Quick Shortcut Maker APK. Well, actually, hit Enter APK Mirror. Okay, yeah. So APKMirror.com. Hit that, and then scroll down and look for a file to download. So that right there, and then scroll down some more. Hit Download APK. Wait for it to say starting download. Downloading. Okay, so that's cool. So now look up Galaxy apps. You're going to need a Samsung account for this if you don't already. So look up Galaxy apps. 
hit the Galaxy Apps link, scroll down, hit the Galaxy Apps logo right there, and that's going to take you to Galaxy Apps. Now hit Agree, Search, and look up File Explorer. It doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm going to use ES File Explorer. But you're going to need to log in for this, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my account. Okay, it kicked me off the Wi-Fi again. So hit sign in. Wait for it to load up and whatnot. Can't always get that good of a focus on here. Okay, not sure what that was all about. That was pretty strange. If that does do it for you, then you're going to have to do this again, probably. Uh, that was actually a first for me, so hit next. Okay, no, you didn't have to do that then. Alright, so download ES File Explorer. And... It was, it's just a Wi-Fi connectivity issue, so uh, make sure you do have your hotspot on still. Keep that on. And then it's installing now, so wait for it to go ahead and install. And after that, hit open. And then tap, tap, tap. Hit download. And then hit this file right here. I'm not sure what that was. Probably update. Just hit later. Hit install. Hit package installer. Settings notification or unknown sources hit ok install I know it's probably a lot right there all at once but it's installing now so hit open and then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna look up Google and then hit Google account manager in the one right here where it says type email and password this one right here so don't hit the edu one hit this one right here you don't want the education one so hit that hit try and then it's gonna ask for that but hit the three dots up here hit browser sign in hit okay and then you're gonna sign in with your own information right here let me go ahead and enter my information so one moment please signing in okay waiting for it to load all right so we're good from there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna restart your device so hit restart and then it's gonna go ahead and restart but I'll get back to you when it actually finishes though so still keep that pass or not password keep that hotspot on and yeah so we can continue on with this okay so I turn right back on and from here you're going to go ahead and hit start uh, just go through the normal process of doing this stuff next if it keeps showing that just hit next 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 and then you're gonna actually let it go through this time so it you added your account in the phone already so that's good if it asks you if you need to sign into a previous account go ahead and sign in with yours it should be able to work so right now it says checking connection but it should just say account added so okay hit next agree hit no thanks or whatever you want to do we're going to reset it anyways to get like a clean clean experience so we're good from here look at that we just passed that so hit later finish and next 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 agree decline whatever you want to do and bam look at that we're in the phone isn't that great so now if you want to go ahead and do a fresh and clean install as if nothing happened you go ahead and do so s pen features all that works right now so it's pretty cool so just go ahead and scroll down hit back up and reset so hit factory data reset reset device delete all so now it's restarting it's gonna reset again so this is the last time so when that actually boots up just set up set it up as you usually would with a new phone so if you want you can go ahead and turn off your hotspot now and connect to your normal Wi-Fi or if you don't uh, need Wi-Fi right now or if the data is available if you can pop in your SIM card and use your data then you can go ahead and do that too whatever satisfies you but I'm going to go ahead and turn off this hotspot all right yeah so pretty cool stuff right
uh, got your phone working again. So if you didn't, just leave a comment below and I should be able to help you out. But uh, this should work with pretty much any phone. So you don't need no TG cable. You don't need a computer. You don't need any software. All you need is internet that you are going to probably most likely have already. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of expected to have internet with a smartphone, but pretty cool stuff. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Genix Tech for more videos. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this. Follow me on social media at it's Genix Tech. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, just thought I'd wait for this. I'm gonna show you that we can get back in here again. So I'm gonna skip everything. Next. Next. I don't know why that terms and conditions nags you, nag you for. So next. No thanks. You can go ahead and set up your fingerprint. You can set up the setup how you want. Sign into your Google account and whatnot. But I'm just showing you I'm in it already. Once again, we're in the phone. Yeah, cool stuff though. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not that difficult. It's actually kind of an easy process. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.